wash your color for one minute, now you black again. Yeah, I'm on a blockchain with it, and my blockchain muck is full of octane in them. You know the vibe, plus we shredded than a motherfucker. Baka daka, baka daka, baka daka, baka daka. Yeah, yeah, we crash monkeys. Yeah, yeah, we crash monkeys. It go, planet of the apes, gorillas in a mess. All these bad rooms all over my shit, it go, planet of the apes. What is going on, blockchain monkeys? Eagle here, like to thank you for coming to my jungle. First of all, I know for that advisor whatsoever. No, my professional and blockchain technology. But there is one thing that I absolutely will do, and I'll give you my opinions of today. We're just gonna get right to it. Ripple does not care what is happening in this market. They just continue building. Are you understanding? Are you taking a look underneath the surface? I mean, we are talking brick by brick, layer by layer. Ripple is building. Take a look. Right now is a great time to be in blockchain because we have all this institutional adoption. We're at ground zero of something that's about to be really big. We're in the middle of the sort of rebuilding of the financial system. And Ripple is poised to like figure out where the interesting things are. We're trying to really leapfrog the current standards that other crypto companies are working on. Engineers get a pretty big say in what we do. They really embrace big ideas. We pursue those ideas and get those ideas used in the real world and validated. Not a lot of it's really our one of day one. There's so much to build. I tell candidates that come in, where else are you going to have that much leverage, that much impact than in places like the Ripple? And so coming in hot from Riz XRP, we have here smart contracts installed on Stellar XLM. Danelle Dixon dropping that heat. I mean, the truth of the matter is this isn't easy. I mean, you're actually like MoneyGram, it took them what, like 30 years to be able to build that infrastructure and that agent network that has 400,000 agents globally. And when you're really trying to connect with the cash-based economy, you need feet on the ground. You need local agents to be able to help solve that. So we've actually, this has just been our focus all along. Look, I'll tell you that there's been a lot of FOMO um, internally for, for the last couple of years, given all the cool stuff that's happening. We are building smart contracts into the network. That's going to feed you with liquidity into payments. That's going to happen later this year. We have an automated market maker in the network as well that folks can leverage from a wallet standpoint. You can have wallet interfaces there. There's also the DEX, and so those are leveraged for payments. All those things- Well, talk that shit then. That's what I'm talking about, Danelle Dixon. It exists on the network, but they actually feed into the value of the payment network because they create that liquidity and making sure that the markets are gonna be robust. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not easy. And it's also sometimes you do get a little bit of FOMO because there's so much other cool stuff that we can focus on, but we mm -hmm. have spent the vast majority of our time really focused on building this payment network. Sheesh. We want everyone to be able to right. leverage having these financial institutions that are local on the edges was our first foray into it we have 30 you know different stable coins that are issued on the network that are based on local currency go ahead and lay the foundation there lay the foundation there in stable coins usdc seller is one of the big ones that well, lots of payments companies want to leverage yeah. wallet providers want to leverage but i think that there's a couple reasons i mean i can't tell you what's in the ethos and thought patterns of other folks out there but i'll tell you that when you're staying focused on this, this isn't the thing that gets a lot of attention, even though it should. It is the thing that is going to bring the masses to blockchain. It doesn't get a lot of attention because it's just like, it's the, I think it's table stakes. It's the thing that we need to have to be able to really solve the problems that we see in the world. And so now coming in hot from Kate Stryker, we have the beautiful SEC doing everything in their power to help protect us, the retail investor. And as you can see, coming in hot from Jeremy Allaire, XLM is just making waves. You have here Ice Cold Eurocoin on tap at the Circle Forward. And huge shouts to Monica Long. We have here my first NFT NYC officially in the books through conversations both on and off stage in official venues and side dinners. I've been ruminating on what qualities are imperative for NFTs to succeed in the future. And so coming in hot from the man himself, we have John Deaton. Think about it. The mission is not to protect investors. I don't have six investors, more like 60,000, but 68,100 individual investors have asked to be heard. Gary Gensler has so much contempt for us that he didn't even have a low level assistant respond. In this case, you have almost 70,000 people who hold XRP in the United States who are trying to sue the SEC for harming them. Right. So, you know, it's a little confusing why the SEC would spend a lot of time and energy 
on that when we do actually have some things happening in the market that maybe do deserve more scrutiny. Hello. And so coming over here to Zoe Killer, we have XRPL in Times Square for the world to see. You see it. Build and mint on the XRPL ledger. What is happening here? And as promised, coming in hot from Bob Ross, Corium's full technical white paper, DevNet and Texas Explorer website will be released next week. Any day, every mountaintop is within reach if we keep on climbing. Keep building. It is go time. And so why do we say this? It's because Sologenics keeps on building. In partnership with Simplex CC, a new fiat solution will be integrated into the DEX, allowing users to purchase NFTs with credit cards. I mean, for those who are new, the newbies coming in the door, if they have to come through the door with a credit card, and then they get inside and learn how cryptocurrencies work, you know, once they get a little piece of that XRPL ledger in them, they are absolutely gonna switch. And what happens when they do? Mass adoption. And as you can see, as a pilot, the feature will be available for the Sologenic Partner Collections as a P2P solution is in the works. What can't they do? I mean, did you think it was gonna stop? Send, receive, and store all your cryptos and NFTs under one simple domain, easily access Unstoppable Web through the wallet section of the Sologenic Dex. It just keeps on going. Ladies and gentlemen, you ask me why I have so much FOMO, and you ask me why I'm so hyped and so excited. I mean, if you're gonna keep laying these things out in front of me, what do you expect the monkey to do? Welcome to the jungle. Don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I, yeah. And we will all see each other on the moon. Cause it's the standard in this bitch. SRP. I, I went to YouTube University. And now they mocking me. With no degree. We say about a swift. Keep it walking. We smoke your elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. You don't have to be rich to be taking uh, advantage of this. This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. Blockchain. Blockchain. We talking about an intellectual choo choo train. It's the LT up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain. Blockchain.